Greetings, YouTube. Sometimes it just helps to make people feel better about themselves, to allow people the chance to point and laugh and think, gosh, what an idiot. What a moron. What a, what a pansy. This is one of those videos. You know, I'm somebody who is so stubborn that I will often pride myself on not reading notes. This includes incursions, sometimes alliance quest modifiers, event quests, side quests, and I have been known to get wrecked, sometimes live on YouTube for all to see, when that backfires on me. When I jumped into this new spring cleaning arena, I didn't read it. Why should I have to? So I spent the first five rounds doing what I always do, which is to use my rank three and even rank two five-star champions to build a win streak of five for that three times multiplier. And then I realized very late in the game when I started using my rank four five-stars as you can see right now, that the amount of points was suspiciously low to what I was used to seeing. I then went back to the details and realized, oh, there is no multiplier in this arena. So that was idiot Prof Hoff mistake number one. But there's a lot more where that came from. Because then, right about the time that I realized I was an idiot and didn't read that there was no multiplier, I also found out that six stars can be used. Because I actually told my boy Triumphant when I was explaining the event to him yesterday, I think he had a late nap, that uh, that you couldn't use six stars in this because all my six stars were uh, on the cooldown periods. But then they started coming back. And so I threw three six stars into this event, thinking, I'm going to get more points. I mean, technically I got more points. Instead of 15,015 points for that five-star wasp, I got 15,018 points for that six-star Sabertooth. Look out, world. Crazy. This, at that point, was the ultimate version of Deadpool trolling me and me feeling like I was wasting valuable six-star arena teams. So then I thought, well, we tried five stars. We tried six stars. Maybe we should try four stars. And then what do you know? Same amount of points. A four-star, a rank five four-star got me the same amount of points. And if you look at the matchups of what the game uh, pairs you with, like these are fairly similar PIs. Shoot, even these are sort of similar. But the four-stars were a joke. They were such easy matchups. And so I started thinking, okay... I think it makes the most sense to not be an idiot like Prof Hoff, which is why I'm making this video, and not only use your four stars instead of your five stars and six stars, especially if you want to jump into, say, the Tier 1 Alpha Arena, which just started in the past uh, day as well, but also to use those rare but fairly common, if you're in the lower levels, uh, arena boosts for four stars. Now, some of you have told me, Prof, it's even better than that. Use your three times arena boost for three stars. Now, if you're able to do that and you get matchups like this, all power to you. But, just to let you know, when I tried this, this is the matchup that I got. I got Doctor Doom, Red Guardian, Black Widow, Thighs, all my best three stars, rank four, level 40s, all over 33 and 3400 PI. They drew six star matchups. And yes, the PI is only about double but it was still very, very annoying. And I kept wondering, is Kabam trolling us? And the only reason why they can even bring six-star champions in because you're killing the cooldowns and you're not adding but maybe three points per matchup. And, of course, you have 11 hours to wait again for them to appear after this. But maybe the reason why they allowed six stars in was just so if you brought the wrong team, they could give you essentially a death match by pairing three stars against the health pool of six stars. Now, I will say, this is not really like a flex, quote-unquote, but just to let you know, um, as it shows it is the same amount of points, I did actually win all three matchups, and it took a while. I mean, I, I think I might have just been better off quitting because there's no multiplier involved, so the win streak literally doesn't matter. But at that point, I was so committed 
that I just didn't want to, um, I didn't want to give up. I felt like I was going to be a loser if I didn't try it. So I don't know if you've ever felt like that in the arena where you're like, I, this is a waste of my time, but I don't want to, I don't want to just give up. What's the competition in that? So, uh, this is the takeaway for you. Three stars, and some people have told me that they haven't run into the death match that I ran into. Three stars, but especially I ran into zero issues with rank four, uh, not rank four, three stars, but rank, uh, there we go, rank five, four stars. Zero issues at all with those. I would use your arena boosts, your regular boosts, especially if they're expiring, to jump into this arena and you get about 45,000 points per three fights. And I would use those arena points, or arena boosts, because you can get a crazy amount of points. I mean, you could literally do, you know, three rounds worth of fights in one round if you have times three multipliers, because that's the only way you're going to get multipliers. And just don't pull the prof off. Don't be an idiot and waste your five stars, but especially your six stars. Because my goodness, do I feel like a loser after having to learn that the hard way. So if you haven't jumped into the arena yet, I know some of you haven't yet. Hopefully this video aids you in your quest to get the 2 million points because you free-to-play players, this is the only chance for you to get those minted doubloons besides the 27,000 free you get for logging in. And so you want to take advantage of it. It's got some good rewards, some good stuff, but it will take you a while. And those arena boosts, especially for the three stars, if you can get the right matchups, unlike me, but four stars for sure are going to help you. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good rest of your weekend.